Guys. I'm Lavinia Nixon. Hi there, I'm Ed Phillips. Fred Simons returned to the quiz arena last night, but fortunately he had his wife Ellie with him to keep him on the straight and narrow. Yes, Red and Ellie had a big win, but it was hard work to get them to buy anything for their viewer. The real battle was for second place, but Douglas Wood and his wife Yvonne eventually got across the line and secured a place in the semis. One of these nine teams will eventually climb to the top of the family tree. So let's get the game on. Welcome to Temptation Celebrity Family Time. You okay? <laughs> Good night, everybody. You've got a very heavy dress oh, on you. It's awesome. Showing me. That's hilarious. Welcome to you at home. Another night, our first semi. Now things start to get mm, very exciting from here on in. Here. Our home viewers are scoring prizes left, right and centre. If you've registered to be a celebrity partner on tonight's semi, semi number one, we'll tell you later if you've got one of our fantastic celebrities playing for you and the goodies you could win. And if you're not registered, you can register for our second semi-final. We'll be drawing three new viewers for tomorrow night. So if you want to be in a chance to win with all the fame games, the vault cash, possibly even a hundred thousand dollars and maybe a car. Call one nine zero two five five two triple nine and just follow the prompt. And texting's uh, texting's pretty easy. You can do that too. One nine one triple nine. Give us your name, address, and daytime contact as well. So everyone that's entered will go into the draw for the final with a chance to win the Volvo. Good luck. We'll keep those lines open till a minute to midnight tonight. So get on the phone or get texting and good luck to you at home. Good luck to our celebrities. They're back again. They've got the heat. One nerves out of the way. Let's meet them. Our first team showed perfect teamwork in the second heat with Fatty showing us that he's not just a pretty face. Please welcome back the fat man and his lovely wife, Kim. Paul and Kim, welcome back, Thank guys. Our second team are the ideal mother and son combination and no doubt Shelley spent a lifetime keeping her son in line. Please welcome back Ben and Shelley Dark. Shelley and Ben, hello again. Hello, Ed. Our video. third team played the game slow and steady and managed to sneak through to the semis in last night's heat. Please welcome back Douglas and Yvonne Wood. Hello guys, welcome to you Yvonne and Douglas. First night nerves are out of the way. Now, you've got a bit of a team tactic tonight, do you? Oh, absolutely. Do you want to tell us what that is? Or... Absolutely I lied. Not. <laughs> and we're going to put some oil on the button. That might help, <laughs> or you might just slip off and graze your elbow, but we'll find out. Welcome to you both, good luck. So Shelley and Ben, you've switched sides. Ooh. You've done yourself an injury, have you, Shelley, in uh, your first appearance? <laughs> yes, the I've old girl's gammed in her shoulder from hitting the buzzer <laughs> so much last round. From punching you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Shelley and Ben, easier to say than Ben and Shelley, so good luck to you guys. Welcome along. I think buzzing you. from you, Shelley. Paul and Kim, well... Kim, you might be interested to know your tough guy husband described you as his rock this year while he was uh, making his slow recovery. <laughs> <laughs> you were the rock in the first uh, appearance. I think you guys got him over the line. Oh, well, I, I just tried. It was very good. <laughs> Surprised me, I'll tell you. I didn't know she had it, but they're excellent stuff. Great right. teamwork, Took ladies. 20 years to find out. <laughs> We've got everybody set. Why don't we jump into it and jump into semi one, see who's on their way to the final. Only one team through at the mm. end of the night. $20 starting money for all our celebrities and their loved ones. Best of luck. That's the most money you'll see from her in a long time. Here we go, into round one. A catch cry of which iconic TV character was missed it by that much? Shelley and Ben. Maxwell Smart. Agent 86 gets you away. Born Thomas Woodward was which singer whose hits include It's Not Unusual and What's... Shelley and Ben? Tom Jones. Tom Jones. What's new? Pussycat. Great hit. On being told her people had no bread, Marie Antoinette said... Let me, I'm sorry. Let them eat cake. You are right. Let me nominate your names first. Though, Yvonne, you're away. Yeah. Semi-final nerves are out of the way now. Let's jump into our first uh, sprint round. 20 seconds are set and it'll start now. A source of easy financial benefit is said to be a what train? Shelley and Ben. Gravy train. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which Spanish city is famous for its running of the bulls? Shelley and Ben. Pamplona. Yes. What fruit or seed of a cereal rhymes with brain? Shelley and Ben. Grain. Grain. Yes. Drummer for the monkeys was Mickey who? Paul and Kim. Dolans. Yes. What type of drinking vessel is an anagram of gum? Locked out there, everybody. Needed a mug. Firing out of the blocks. Shelley and Ben, your first temptation. You got a $20 break. We we're only asking $10 to give you a look inside our temptation vault. There's its big armoured doors opening up. Do you want to score somewhere maybe up to five grand for your home viewer? <laughs> I'm disappearing from this. <laughs> Shelley, perhaps it's your decision. What do you think? I think we've got to do it this time. We didn't do it last time. Bloody okay. hell, this is the Hit semi. Hit your buzzer with your good elbow. <laughs> <laughs> $10 off your score. 
and hit it again, Shelley, and we'll see how much money you get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. $4,651. God, good one. Very interesting technique. It's got you 4000 plus. Brilliant work. Here we go. Beginning with S is which knife with a small sharp blade as Polykim? Steak knife. <laughs> as used by a surgeon, not a steak knife. Scalpel. In the world of fashion, pret a porter clothes are literally ready to wash. Doug and Yvonne. Ready to wear. Ready to wear is right. You're up to 30. Fame game time. First of our uh, famous faces. Who am I? Born in Sweden in 1905 and dying in New York in 1990, I was raised in poverty in a Stockholm slum. While working as a department store clerk and appearing in advertising shorts, I met a film director who gave me a small part in the 1922 movie Peter the Tramp. Doug and Yvonne. Greta Garbo. You are good. You are right. Greta Garbo is right. Formerly Greta Gustafsson is her original name. Guys, we've got nine famous faces standing in the wings. Here they come. Packing his bags for getaway next is Ben's colleague, David Rain, the vivacious Kerry Ann Kennelly. He would never use a steak knife. It's Chris O'Brien from RPA, Kelly Connolly from National 9 New Sydney, Bon Appetit, it's Jeff Jance. That hot sauce, Miranda Deacon, kicking goals on the Today Show, Tim Gilbert, High Fiver, Kathleen De Leon, and 16-year-old movie star Daniel Radcliffe, whose movie Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire open soon. Yvonne, you're the one on fire this round. It's your pick of these famous faces. Oh, I have to have the young one. The young one? Who's the young one? With Daniel me. Radcliffe. Oh, Harry Potter. Okay, they're all pretty young. Here he comes, the wizard. Designer perfumes. These four fragrances include favourites like Coco and Paris Hilton. They're $800 from Hard to Find Perfumes. The Boy Wizard gets you that lovely prize for your home viewers. Douglas and Yvonne firing, Shelley and Ben arguing, and Fatty and Kim got some work to do. That's round one done, round two just around the corner. Their moments and his... Kim, they're right there on screen now. Paul, get a bit of a wriggle along. Here we go. Only one winner tonight. Questions for round two. The subject of a 1942 Disney cartoon feature is which young deer growing up in the... Shelly and Ben. Bambi. Bambi. Nice thumper of the buzzer there. Good work. What adjective describes someone who's able to use both of their hands equally well? Paul and Kim. Ambidextrous. Yes, the fat man's team is away. Having over 100 singles in the US Top 40 was which singer that most people believe died in 1977? Paul and Kim. Elvis Presley. The King is right, gets you up to $30. Shelly and Ben, you got the edge by $10 over your other teams. 40 to spend. Can you guys agree on something? Let's go over to Lavinia. These four mobile phones are feature-packed with absolutely everything your viewer could ever want to organise their life. There's a digital camera with flash, MP3 player, Bluetooth, expandable memory. Wait, I'm just getting started. High-resolution colour screen, voice recorder, world-time converter. I think you get the picture. They're incredible and they're $2,596 or be tempted for your viewer for $10 from LG Electronics. Four phones. I mean, Shelly and Ben could get one each and the home viewers could get a couple. We're anti-technology, I'm sorry, we're embargoing you. $200, $200 cash. Are you anti-cash? We're not, we're not Luddite on cash. $500 no, cash. No, we're not buying, thanks. $500 cash. No. Phone. Really? Yeah, phone's fine. We won them five grand. Close that, up we're shop. going. We're, we're Phone's moan, no sale. No <laughs> sale, okay. I, <laughs> at least they've agreed on something, mother and son, that's good. Let's press on. One a party girl, the other a workaholic lawyer, are the sisters played by Cameron Diaz and Tony Collette in which film? Paula Kim. In her shoes. Making your move, you're up to 35. Originating in northern India, though its name is a western concoction, was the lamb curry dish Rogan what? Shelly and Ben. Josh. Josh will do you up to $45. $15 into the mix now with this next fame game question. Who am I? Born in Missouri in 1847 and dying there in 1882. I was raised on a farm and when the American Civil War broke out, my brother and I became Shelley and Ben. Quick go it. Davy Crockett? No. For my God's brother and I, sake. <laughs> my brother and I became Confederate guerrillas. In 1866, we assembled a gang to rob banks and we soon took up robbing trains and stagecoaches as well. Paul and Kim. Which Cassidy and Sundance kid? No, Douglas and Yvonne, you get all the clues, so take your time. In 1876, I led a failed raid on a bank in Northfield, Minnesota. Frank and I escaped, but the rest of our gang... Jesse James. Jesse James is right, Yvonne. Back yourself, and you are looking at another pick of the board. 
You are our little quiet achiever so far this game. Who are you going to go for this time from our famous faces? Um, let's take the pretty blonde at the top. What's she got for your home viewer? Beef up your CD and DVD collection with a $500 voucher. The latest releases or old favourites, the choice is yours. It's from HMV Music Stores. Kerry ann Kennelly is her name, Yvonne. She's going to love that. The pretty blonde. More questions to come. The most frequently used word in written English is which three-letter word? Paul and Kim. The. Yeah. Very quick on the buzzer. The is the answer. The Truth Is Out There is a tagline for which sci-fi TV series created by Chris Carter? No takers from Mulder and Scully. The X-Files we were looking for. OK, we're going slow. Let's ramp it up. Our next sprint round. 20 seconds set on the clock, teams. Here we go. Time starts. Now, beginning with P, is what thief who steals from people's pockets? Shelley and Ben. Pink pocket. Yes, Vin Diesel stars in the 2004 sci-fi film, The Chronicles, Paul and Kim. Of Triple X. Of Riddick. The hit for which ex beatle was the classic ballad, Imagine? Paul and Kim. John Lennon. Yes, in which state capital is Australia's only nuclear reactor? Shelley and Ben. Out <laughs> the line. <laughs> Where? <laughs> State it, capital? It's a new... I'll go Sydney, thanks. Sydney is right, but out of time. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm thinking time. laughs> well done. The fat man made his move in that round. Paul and Kim on 40. Shelley and Ben, 45. Douglas and Yvonne within striking distance on $30. And we're about halfway, teams. You can take a quick break. Round three coming up next on Temptation. This Friday, a premier television event. Patrick Swayze. King Solomon's Mines, 8.30 Friday on 9. Oh, well, Sunny Spot's the best place for a gazebo. It'll provide shade and keep warm. Gazebo with net, just $79.95. Anglesey five-piece setting, $2.99. Desktop water cooler, $1.49. Might at 10. All the help you need. For a liner to be truly comfortable, it needs to bend, move and stretch as you do. A good reason to switch to Librefresh flexible liners. Now thinner, it's Libra's most flexible liner ever, designed to closely follow your body's movement. It's also body contoured, tapering towards the back for a streamlined fit. The result? All day freshness that feels and moves like your own underwear. Switch to Libra Fresh flexible liners in the green pack and feel the improved comfort for yourself. Brand Power, helping you buy better. Is the only reward you get from your insurance company a no-claim bonus? Unlike some insurers, Allianz gives an additional reward to safe drivers. It's called a safe driver discount. So switch to Allianz and you could save even more. Call Allianz today on 131000 for a quote and more details. I'm at the gateway to the world's largest wildlife sanctuary. It's called Australia. Crikey! The invisible fence that protects our natural wonders and agriculture is quarantine. Help them make sure nothing dangerous gets in. Declare all food, plant and animal material because that's where the danger lurks. If you don't and they find, it could be a whopping fine for you. Quarantine matters. Authorised by the Australian Government, Canberra. To keep decorative lights tidy, wrap them around plywood. Clear bud lights from $8.95. Vogue four-piece garden light kit, $14.95. Ryobi angle grinder or impact drill, $39 each. Might at 10. All the help you need. An emotional journey. Don't you quit on me, Anthony. Comes to an end. This really does work. The season final of Celebrity Overhaul, Sunday on 9. This semi is getting hot, it's a tight one. Let's take a look at the home viewer playing for Shelley and Ben now. And I've got to say, I reckon the girls are holding the fort here of all these teams. Let's go into <laughs> round three, players. In 1923, Brisbane, yes. Uh, we had a flood. Jumping in really early, did you just lean on that buzzer? I'll finish yeah. the question. James Cavill built a hotel on the future Gold Coast called the Surfers what? Surfers Paradise. As indicated by his haloed stick figure symbol, what is the alias of fictional hero Simon Temp... The Dugan Saint. The Saint is right, gets you up to 35, pressing for the lead. Gift shop time, we're tied. With Shelley and Ben, Paul and Kimmy got $40 a piece. We'll auction this off when we get to the low price with Lavinia. Here she comes.
Switzerland has the worldwide reputation of being the greatest country of watchmakers. Maurice Lacroix is dedicated to this Swiss tradition. This handsome timepiece with a silver dial is crafted from stainless steel and features the name and personal signature of the tennis great Roger Federer. It's $4,460 or be tempted for your viewer by this champion timepiece for $15 from Maurice Lacroix. Well, this makes sense. All our celebs get this beautiful Maurice Lacroix mm -hmm. watch for playing. Why wouldn't your home viewer want it? Ben Dark, you're mean. Just buy it. Come on. I'm more than happy to give my home viewer mine, Lavinia. <laughs> You're sneaky as well, I like that. <laughs> Done, so that's a sale? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Fatty and Kim, on. what do you reckon, guys? At least we've got our home viewer, you know, some pretty good prizes. Yes, yeah, go on, you good two. Good point. $14? 13 12 Oh, good. Yeah, we're in. <laughs> it's all about the home viewer. Nearly yeah, taking out Fatty's eye as well. Yeah, it's a sale. Nearly got very ugly there. Thought you were going to swipe Ben one as well. Well bought. <laughs> Shelley and Ben, sole leaders, here we go, more questions. Which Australian was the holder of the women's 100 metres freestyle record for 16 years? Shelley and Ben. Dawn, Dawn Fraser. Fraser. That'll do our Dawny from 56 through to 1972. Named after an Aboriginal captured in 1789 by Governor Phillip, was which point today? Paula Kim. Oh, Ben Long Point. Yes, the location of the Sydney Opera House, nice work. The daughter-in-law of the ruler of which country is 41-year-old Crown Princess Masako? Shelley and Ben. Japan. That'll do up to 50. Thanks this could be crucial now in a tight game. The $25 in play, everybody, along with the wild card. Who am I? Born in Nottinghamshire in 1885 and dying in France in 1930. I attended Nottingham High School and left at 16 to work as a factory clerk. But I left after an attack of pneumonia. In 1905, I began to write and earned a teaching certificate in 1908. Much of my early work appeared in the English Review, and in 1911, my first novel, The White Peacock, was published. The object of hostility and suspicion during World War I because of my pacifism and my wife's German origins. After 1919, I lived in various countries, never returning to England. 1923's Kangaroo describes the persecution I'd experienced, but my best-known novels are The Rainbow, Women in Love, Shelley and Ben. D.H. Lawrence. That'll do, Shelley. Nice work, D.H. Lawrence. Guess your final pick of our famous faces. All the money up for Thanks grabs. Goodness. Oh, we'd have to go for David Rain, I think. Rain, I think. Have to go, David. Okay, then, your fellow getaway traveller. Your loyalty pays off. It's the wild card. Tough decision, though. Do you want $1,000 for your home viewer or do you want another pick? Oh, Come gee. on, just quick, quick. No, you do it. You do it. We'll go again, thanks. Okay, Ben, pick away. Who do you want, Chuck? Quick. No, you go, I'll pick that one. Uh, okay, Jeff Jans, please. What's our super chef got for you, home viewer? The burglar. Oh, no! Well, this is sneaky. You get we'll to steal again. $5 off. <laughs> you can't keep picking all night. Keep going you get to pick uh, $5 off the score of Fatty and Kim or Doug and Yvonne. I'm sorry, scores? Doug and Yvonne, because oh. Fatty and Kim bought the watches. We'll go Doug and Yvonne that evening. Oh, that's that's very magnanimous, <laughs> darling. $5 off your score, you're down to 30 Where was sorry, all guys. the cash sorry, lying guys. tonight, Lavinia? Sorry. Let's sort this out. The $10 was behind Chris O'Brien. Miranda Deacon had the $15. And Tim Gilbert, the big $25. So the stage is set, players. Only one will go through to our final. Who will it be? Paul and Kim, Douglas and Yvonne, or Shelley and Ben? They've got the advantage. We're back with the fast money round of Temptation after this. A dash to the finish line for all our teams. Douglas and Yvonne, let's have a look at your home viewer. They won't be happy you just got burgled in the last no, round. I don't think it was fair either. It wasn't fair at all, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Let's get 60 seconds up on the clock. There can be only one winning team heading into our grand final. Good luck, everybody. Time starts now. Involving various events is what competition in cowboy skills, starting with R? Paul and Kim. Rodeo. Yes. Considered the special guardian of a city, nation or occupation is a what saint? Paul and Kim. Patron saint. Yes. The latest Harry Potter book is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood what? Paul and Kim. Goblet. Prince. In which Australian state is the district of Illawarra? Shelley and Ben. New South Wales. Yes. Starting with N is what act of telling a story? Shelley and Ben. Narration. Yes. Which surname is shared by legendary US musicians Scott and Janice? Shelley and Ben. Prince. Joplin, a bone in which of the body's limbs is the fibula? Paul and Kim. That'll be the arm. Lower leg. Standing on the River Clyde, what is the largest city in Scotland? Shelley and Ben. Edinburgh. Glasgow, what is the other word for circular rhyming with pound? 
Paula Kim. Brown. Yes. Of which country was Benjamin Disraeli a 19th century Douglas and Avon? England. Yes. In which 1996 movie does Jerry tell Dorothy she completes him? After Jerry Maguire there, we've got a champion pair in Shelley and Ben tonight and a very close game for Betty and Kim and Douglas and Yvonne. Shelley and Ben, you complete us. You complete us. <laughs> the mother and son <laughs> team. Completes me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you can do the same gags, I love it. Maybe, her, maybe the tension actually helps them and gets them over the line. Well done, guys. Now, how did our outgoing celebrity teams go? Well, Douglas and Yvonne, you've got cash and prizes worth $1,300. And Paul and Kim, you've got that watch at $4,500. Well done to you all. Fantastic work for your home viewers. They also get this terrific prize as well. In a plane, on a train, camping, whenever, wherever, your viewer can enjoy a movie on the go with this portable DVD player. Featuring a 7-inch wide LCD screen and inbuilt stereo speakers, this temptation is $499 from LG Electronics. So Douglas and Yvonne, Fatty and Kim, we say goodbye to you guys. Well played tonight. Thanks for being on the show to all of you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Also, Thank you. this lovely watch is our gift from Temptation for you guys to take away. To thank our celebrities for being part of Temptation, they can choose between these men's or ladies Maurice Lacroix watches. These elegant timepieces from the Miros collection feature a Swiss quartz movement, date display and a sapphire crystal face. Masterfully crafted from stainless steel, both watches have a linked bracelet band with gently rounded edges for exceptional comfort. Each tempting pair is from Maurice Lacroix. And well done guys, our semi-final winners, all that cover, some tensions paid off. Your home viewer is going to love you because for taking out this semi-final, they've also added this to their collection. You have won the very latest and greatest 37-inch LG digital LCD TV for your lucky home viewer. This is Australia's first LCD to have a built-in high-definition tuner for incredibly sharp, crisp images and colours. It's packed full of cutting-edge features that will change the way you watch. This temptation to get a bigger and better picture is $4,999 from LG Electronics. The darts are on a roll. I reckon you can keep it going. Oh, Eddie, I don't know. I don't know about that. Come back. I think we might be exhausted. <laughs> Come back Monday after a restful weekend. Win again. Become our grand champions. You're away to London. The winning celebrity team will receive this incredible holiday to London. They'll stay seven nights in the heart of the city with panoramic views of Portman Square in five-star luxury at one of London's leading hotels, complete with daily breakfast. Flying in business class luxury and with non-stop viewing entertainment, you can lie back and relax in the comfy pod-like sleeper seats. What a way to fly. This well-deserved temptation is from Royal Brunei Airlines and Hyatt Regency London at the Churchill. Great price, perfect for you. You need to get out and see a bit of the world. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <Just> Shelter <laughs> a little life. No, that is a great price. Now, yeah. come back Monday, of course, and win for your home viewer, a brand new home viewer. They will be starting up their own brand new Volvo. Let's check it out. One lucky home viewer will be the new owner of this award-winning XC90. This turbocharged all-wheel drive is powerful yet fuel efficient and meets the highest expectations of comfort, safety and driving pleasure. Generously styled with timeless Scandinavian design, this luxury seven-seater SUV is equipped with roll stability control and side curtain airbags in all three rows. This is an incredible home viewer temptation. It's valued at $69,950 plus on-road costs. Volvo for life. Here we go, let's see who's the brains out of you two now and cap off a fantastic night for your home viewer. Time for ten in a row. Five different sets of questions await you, Ben. Choose one wisely. Number one, please, Ed. Oh no, I'm gonna dial it up. And what Shelley. Do you mean, Uno. Uno. Oh, I thought you meant Oh no. no. <laughs> I thought God it's done already. I was thinking... see what you have to put up with Shelley. Here we go. You can only hit him from now on. Sixty seconds. Good luck, Ben. Thanks. Time starts. Now, what is the acronym for a young urban professional? Yuppie. Yes. A cricketing axiom is the phrase, what win matches? Catches. Yes. The Wayfarer is one model of which popular brand of sunglasses? Ray-Ban. Correct. Named after a Hollywood night spot established in 1979, was which all-male exotic dance troupe? Uh, 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 men dance. Uh, uh, the Chippewales. <laughs> which former rocker was last year elected to Australia's federal parliament? Uh, Peter Garrett. Correct. Who wrote the classic 1862 novel, Les Miserables? Some. <laughs> Victor Hugo. No. Ben. New Zealand's capital, Wellington, is located on which island? The south. North. Which German composed the famous Moonlight Sonata? 
uh, Hummerdinka. <laughs> Beethoven. <laughs> Found in green vegetables and the liver is the important B complex vitamin. What acid? Ant. Folic acid. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, sorry, no cash. If you can't be right, <laughs> yeah. at least be funny if you can't be right. Great work by our semi-finalists, and we will see you Monday for the showdown. Who Thank will you. be going into the grand final against them? Hubbardy. Better join us tomorrow night for our second semi-final. Now, you can win at home as well. Yes, if you weren't a winner tonight, don't worry, you can register for our second semi-final, as we'll be drawing three new viewers for tomorrow night. So call 1902 555 and follow the prompts or text your name, address and daytime contact. We need that to get on to you. 191 is the number. Remember, all entries received will go into the draw for the final with a chance to win the Volvo. Come on, get amongst the action. Lines close tonight at 11.59pm sharp, so get on the phone or get texting. We'll see you same time tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow night and tempt you again. <laughs>